transferring data from the new Nintendo 3DS XL, which is the red one, to the old Nintendo 3DS XL, which is the blue one, is very easy. What you're going to need is your source old Nintendo 3DS console, a Target new Nintendo 3DS console, your Nintendo 3DS's SD card, which is in this little SD slot over there. Can I focus? Yep, you can see it says SD. And the Target new Nintendo 3DS's micro SD card, which you have to drill it out. And you have to also use a size zero Phillips screwdriver. And you are also going to need a PC. Step one, remove any game cards that are in your console. Your game cards may get damaged while doing this. So I have Super Mario 64 DS here. So I just take that out and here's what you get. The next step is to actually take your uh, screwdriver and you're going to screw out this back panel. I am not going to show you guys how to do this because I've already done the system transfer. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your screwdriver, just pretend my little, these are my screwdrivers. You're going to put them in and you're going to twist them like this. And once it clicks three times, you know it's fully unscrewed. And do that to the other one. This is only for the target new Nintendo 3DS XL console. So then once it's all drilled out, you're going to take your stylus for your console. And using this part, you're just going to open the back panel from these little... And that's my camera running low. I'm recording this with my... That's, that's a camera, it's running out of battery, but this Nintendo 3DS, I'm recording with my iPad. Anyway, so these, so there's some panels, and uh, I don't know if you can see it well, but some other YouTube videos can say, aha, you can see that that panel, this panel's a little sort of, like this one over here, use your, um, Use this part of your stylus, like the uh, edged part, to take off both ends, and you're gonna remove the mi micro SD card. It should be in a slot with a like a light bulb on it. I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to damage this thing. Step number two: turn on the source old Nintendo 3DS console. I've already transferred the data, so. It doesn't matter what I do anyways. See, that's what the old one looks like. It should be saying Nintendo 3D. Just don't mind this. Now once this is... Actually, you know, I don't want to show you guys this yet because this is kind of stupid to show on a YouTube video. This is not a configuration, actually, so I'm not might as well going to show it, but... On your source view console, you're going to turn it on and you're gonna go to system settings. Once you're on system settings, you're going to click other settings. And on other settings, you're going to go to system transfer. Now once you're on system transfer, you're going, sorry, you're gonna to go to transfer from a console in the Nintendo 3DS family. And you're gonna say on the source one, send from the system. And now turn on the target the new turn on the target new Nintendo 3DS XL console. And again, do the same thing. Go to system settings, other settings, system transfer, and you're gonna say again transfer from a console in the 3DS family. But instead of saying send from the system, you're going to say from receive from system on the target new Nintendo 3DS XL console. And just wait for the transfer to go, and just wait for the transfer to go straight into the data's SD card. Actually, wait. Since since it's wait a minute. So that's a little step. You're obviously gonna know that you're gonna have, obviously have to transfer it. So 
So you're obviously going to know that you have to transfer it. Anyways, so you're going to know you're going to have to transfer it. So I'm just going to... Why am I doing this? I'm going to see what time it is. Anyways, so once you know that... So, what's your, so, what, so what you're going to do is... Since it knows that you're on the 3DS console, the new Nintendo 3DS, yeah, just yeah. set the format name for your new Nintendo 3DS console's name onto your old, and do not create a network ID on the new one, because it's going to get transferred mm -hmm. into it anyway, so do each his own. I don't know. And, on, and you're going to select PC-based transfer. So just follow the steps until you see PC-based transfer. You're going to... Click ba PC based transfer, and all of the data is not going to be transferred on the console. It's going to be transferred onto the SD card of the old console. Data is going to be transferred to the SD card. Next, you're going to go grab your PC, and the old DS's SD card. I'm just going to take it out. I don't have it in, but anyway, so you're going to take out your old. 3DS's SD card out and plug it into your computer and you're going to copy the file that's named Nintendo 3DS onto your computer's desktop. All work for the source console is now done. Put this off to the side. For the new target Nintendo console, however, what you're going to do is you're going to take the micro SD card and you're also going to need an SD you're also going to need a micro SD card adapter to put your micro SD card. So you're going to put your micro SD card into the SD adapter and plug that into your computer as well. And copy the Nintendo 3DS file onto the micro SD card. Once that's done, you're going to take the micro SD card out of the adapter and put it back into the light bulb sort of port thing on the console. Attach the back panel, turn your system on, and enjoy all your old Nintendo 3DS content on your new Nintendo 3DS XL. It's that simple.